parties, the pomp and circumstance, Super Bowl 50 is almost here. All those little smokies, you know, and you eat all that food and you get a stomachache. All eyes will be on the Bay Area this week as we gear up for the showdown between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Our Coin 6 crews in the thick of it all, Stan Brock joins us live from San Francisco. Stan, you're kicking things off from Super Bowl opening night, formerly known as Media Day. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting ready to get crazy down here, Dan and Jennifer. Well, right now we're inside of the SAP Center. This is really the home of the uh, San Jose Sharks, the hockey team. The arena is starting to fill up with people. Now all the fans will be here. They'll have this thing filled. They're all paid $30 to get here. They have live music here. The band is going. But you can see the seats are just starting to fill up. They opened the door about 20 minutes ago, and people are starting to come in. The floor is starting to fill with all the crazies. We've seen some people in some really weird dressing, but it'll get just get better, I think. Now the Denver Broncos, they're going to be here first, and we'll get they'll be here in about an hour or so. The Broncos earlier tonight, I guess they're earlier today. They were involved in uh, a little bit of an accident, one of the team buses, but everybody's okay. They all expect to be here on time. We're going to take a chance. We're going to have an opportunity to sit down with. Some of the local guys that are on the on the teams as we go, we're up, we're going to try and get uh, Mike Remmers when the Carolina Panthers get back in here. But you can see, without question, the number one fan, the people who everyone wants to talk to most, is Peyton Manning. Everyone has a booth. There's a there's 11 different booths sets up for all the different players. And not surprising, everyone is sitting and waiting, waiting for a long time for Peyton Manning to come. A couple of questions for him. I guess it was leaked out today that this he announced that this might be his last game. So I'm sure he's going to field a lot of questions. There'll be a lot of crazy questions from a lot of different people. But So from here right now, we're going to do this again at 5, and we'll be back at 6, and then later on tonight at 11. So from the SAP Center in downtown San Jose, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Oh, and Stan played, he might have trouble hearing this right. with all the music, but Stan played in Super Bowl 29. So his insight uh, in these live reports in the week leading up to the Super Bowl will just be invaluable. I think he, does he have his ring on there? I can't Maybe. tell. Maybe. <laughs> hand. You can't hear it, unfortunately. Oh. Nothing like 80s soft rock get people pumped up for the uh, Thank you, Stan.